Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, right, sorry, that's just so weird for me. This is my, hear me out, okay, this is my first video and I'm a little bit nervous. Anyway, so I'm going to do a Q&A because I just thought that would be the best video to do for your first video. I'm also eating food because I'm literally a fat pig and I'm hungry. I haven't, um put the questions up on like my Instagram or anything. I put it on my Snapchat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read the questions off my phone. Um I can't actually remember what the questions are. I have looked at them already but sorry. Um but let's just get into it because otherwise I'm gonna start rambling and no one wants a waffler. Oh <laughs> shit sorry <laughs> I just opened the Snapchat. Um, let me turn my ringer off because otherwise my notifications might just go off because, you know, everyone messages me because I'm so popular. Um, um, first question. How old are you? I'm 18. Big one, eh? But I turned 18 during this blooming pandemic, so don't actually feel 18. Bloody corona. Next question is, what got you into fashion and beauty? So, I've always liked fashion and like the beauty side. Like, I, I'm a dancer. I've been dancing since like quite a young age. So I've always been in the beauty world. Like we always have like fake tan and do our makeup like really bold and everything. And then obviously there's the dresses and everything. Um, but fashion kind of, I don't know, I've always been quite a creative person. And I think I could show that through my fashion. Sometimes, sometimes I do look like an absolute lazy bum, which is pretty much 24-7. Anyway, um, yeah, I've always kind of liked fashion. I don't really know how it started, but um, to be fair, I think it all started because I just like spending my money on clothes. I used to spend my money on makeup all the time, but now I'm spending it on clothes all the time. It's ridiculous. I just feel sad if I don't have a parcel on, on the way. Like, I like feeling like it's Christmas every day. So I just treat myself. But I need to stop because it's not exactly like I, I have all this money to be spending on clothes. I've got things to save for. So next question is, um, any sports or hobbies? So, oh my God, I forgot to put lip gloss on. Bear with me for a second. Okay, I am back and I have lip gloss on. Um, what's the question? Any sports and hobbies? So, I used to play cricket. Yep, I used to play cricket. So that started when I was in primary school. Did like a little tournament. My dad was like the coach. Um, and then someone from like an actual team, because um, we were doing like these tournaments and someone from an actual team, I can't remember what the team was called, said to my dad, like, oh, who's she? Like she could play with us. And little did he you know, it was, Daughter. Anyway, so that's how I kind of got into it, and we were quite a sporty family. Um, cricket, my dad knows like a lot about cricket, so did my um, granddad. So it was kind of like I don't know, I just kind of fell into it, um, and then I ended up playing for a team, and then I went to play county, and then I stopped because it t it's quite a lot. Um, so yeah, but I used to play cricket. I'm also a dancer, which I mentioned before. Um, and my hobbies, is TikTok a hobby? I don't know, I just like doing TikTok. Um, I don't know, hobby, shopping. Is that class as a hobby? Cause it's a hobby in my eyes since that's all I'm ever blah, 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 like doing. Um, I'll just say things I like, I, I enjoy doing, I guess. Um, I like reading. In the first lockdown, I started reading again, and now I'm like reading the whole after series. I'm obsessed, like, I literally love it. Um, I like singing, but I don't sing in front of people, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> why has my mind gone blank? Next question Have you ever fancied your boy mates? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I have. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that question. Naughty. Um, biggest fear: losing, losing people. 
that I love. Like, that sounds so, like, cliche. I've lost a lot of people I care about, as in, like, friends, due to arguments. But one thing that scares me the most is actually losing someone for good. Like, it just scares me. Like, thinking about someone you've grown up with your whole life, or even just a small section you've grown so close, and one day they could just be gone. That scares the living daylights out of me. Like, even myself, like, I could walk out the door and boom, see ya, you know? Like, it's just, yeah, that just literally scares me. Have you always wanted to do YouTube? I actually have. I've just always been too scared. Like, I'm such a social person, like, social media and everything. I love it, like... But I think I've kind of grown up in the world, but like my family and everything, like they're very kind of supportive, and um, I think that's one reason why I've always wanted to do it. Um, because my mum would be like, Oh my god, yes, like do it. Like, I used to always watch YouTube since I was like a little child, like Zoella and everything. Um, but it's people that scares me. I don't care about people that I don't know, hating or anything, it's people I know. That's what scares me. Like, I'm still scared now because I know people are nasty, judgmental. They can't see people doing something successful or something they enjoy doing if they're not being successful or happy themselves. And so they take someone else's happiness and just squashes it. And that's what scares me because social media is toxic, but I love social media. What is your favourite YouTuber? I have quite a few. I love the TGF Bros. Love, 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 love. I think they're hilarious. But I also like, um, let me get the actual YouTube name. I'm so bad at YouTube, like names. I'm one of them people. Oh, where is it? Bear with. No. Madison Sarah. How should I forget that? Anyway, a lot of my friends probably know that because I literally would die to look like her as well. Like she's literally like stunning. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just like her vibe, like, I think she's, she just seems like a f fun person, like, she's not fake. Well, I mean, obviously I don't know her personally, but she doesn't come across fake in her videos, which I really like. If your friend is in the wrong, would you be the friend to tell them they are? Definitely, yes. I don't like, um, being the sheep, you know? I don't like to follow what people are doing, um to someone if it's like not good, you know, you know, for me. Um, like during high school, I used to be on the other end of it, I used to always be the one getting hurt. My favourite fashion statement, definitely a coat or a jacket, I think a jacket and a coat can turn an outfit into something unreal. It could be the most boring outfit and boom, put a jacket on or a coat, boom, 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 boom. You're looking good. Literally, put some cool trousers on, ugly ass top, throw a jacket on and hide the top. See what I mean here? It's a fashion statement. Do you want to move out? Definitely. I would love to move out because I'm one of the people, I love like decorating, I love having my own space. But what scares me about moving out is me and my mum are literally best friends. Like, every single night, we're watching TV series together. Like, we'll, And as soon as we finish a TV series, we'll find something else to watch, whether it's a movie, another TV series, even if it's shit. We just like the company, so that's what scares me. Um, like, I can't just be like, oh, mum, uh, do you want to come over every night um, to watch something? Because, you know, it's not going to be that easy. But I will definitely love to move out. But I am... Um, thinking of going to uni, so I'll obviously be moving out then, but I'd love to move into my own apartment, you know? And I also need the space for my clothes. I need a separate room for my clothes. Do you want to go to uni? Yes, I do. I would like to go more in the fashion and marketing kind of promotion route. My dream job, that is like fashion styling. I love fashion styling, but I also like social media, like management marketing. I didn't realise this at the, at the start, but it's um, a lot of my friends, um, they'll, they'll have like a business or something and I end up, I just love helping them out and like pushing them out and then one of my friends actually said to me like you would be so good at this, so it's kind of like 
been going in my brain a little and I, and I spoke to my mum she was like well yeah you would be good at it because I just love sending the emails and everything you know but um yeah so fashion styling management things like that love it but you don't know it could change what about uni I could find something else that I enjoy how did you keep your mind focused and occupied during lockdown to be honest at the start I did sleep a lot I still do but I used to sleep until about three in the afternoon it was actually ridiculous sometimes my friend would literally ring me and be like you need to wake up so um, yeah but I get Instagram pictures uh, because I just like making my Instagram nice it just makes me happy um, looking at my Instagram and it being nice so Instagram pictures TikTok I really like. I used to get really nervous about people seeing my TikToks. Now I don't care because I'm trying to focus on fashion um, and there is no way I can get myself out there if I don't put my fashion on social media. Um, and also I get so much A-level like A -level work that sometimes I'm occupied all the time. Or Netflix. Favourite alcohol drink? Well, it has to be a porn star martini, doesn't it? I mean, you can't go wrong. That gets me on the next level. I don't really remember the night I had when I last had a porn star martini. Your type. Right, so this is really confusing. I think I have, like, five types. You know, like, five different categories that I'm attracted to. So, we have the edgy kind of guy over here. But then we also... Um, Bear in mind, every single guy is someone that is, like, respectful. You know, someone my mum would meet and be like, oh my god, he's so nice, and my dad won't want to, like, get a baseball bat out and hit him in the head, you know. For legal reasons, he would never do that. We've got the little edgy kind of guy with wears the rings and, like, the baggy trousers and, like, blazers. When I say blazers, I mean the shoes. And then we've got the guy who's a bit more kind of classy addressing. Is that even a thing for a guy? I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, and also it's like the, the big hair. Not like, like longer, like curtains. Yeah. And then we've got like the other guy who has like the typical haircut. They have to be funny. They have to have this certain energy. How can I describe it? There is a way for me to describe it, but I just don't know if I can really say it on here. But they're always moving or like cracking jokes and things because I am an absolute weirdo. I cannot be with someone who's more toned down because they're going to find me so annoying and I'm going to get bored because they're not giving the energy back. Do you know what I mean? Your fashion colour combo. Ooh, a fashion colour combo. One thing I'm absolutely living for is like a nude with like a khaki you know um i also really really like also brown and green i love it love it love it brown and green yes would you say fashion slash influencing is something you have always wanted to do so i'm definitely not an influencer before anyone that i know tries to uh you know, judge me, because apparently a lot of people like to do that in my area. Yeah, I've always enjoyed, like, social media, like what I said earlier. It's just, it makes me happy, like, I don't really know how to describe it, I just enjoy this kind of thing, but if I was to ever become an influencer, if, big if, if, um, I would want to do it for the right reasons. Um, I feel like so many people are thinking like, oh, I'll just become an influencer, thinking one, it would be easy, um, and two, just so they get like free stuff and paid for to um, like work like on your own schedule and things like that. I wouldn't want to do it for that. I'd want to do it to actually help influence people to do the right thing and to you know, like, I feel like social media has become such a toxic place. I want to contribute to create it a more happy place and environment. But the problem is, is there is a lot of people who will not allow that to happen. 
but you just can't really do much about it as long as you contribute. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Well, hopefully in a fucking rich mansion. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Or maybe in Dubai. I would like to think that I have found my career option and that I have successfully bought my own place. What's your opinion on friends choosing their boyfriend over their girl mates? I would only agree with friends choosing their boy their boyfriend over girl mates if the girl mates are toxic um, and they're actually pushing away the, the her. Friends should know that it's like a balance. Like, yes, you've got your boyfriend, but you've also got this friend here that has been with you through thick and thin. Um, well, I hope thick and thin, you know, but... Um, yeah, I think it's it should be a balance. Um, but obviously, a relationship you need you, like you're going to spend more time with your boyfriend. He's your boyfriend, but as long as you don't um, never see your friend, that that's when it becomes a problem. Is when you end up actually kind of losing touch with your friend. If that made any sense. What advice would you give to someone who wants to start influencing on YouTube but are too scared? Okay, so speak to your friends because I was literally like this. Um, with YouTube I was so nervous like I would never have done it if it wasn't for my friends like one of my friends actually said to me like Katie you need to do YouTube because she watched my TikToks and she was like Katie you need to do it she loved watching them and she knows who she is she'll be watching um but I know I was like no I can't but because of her being so positive about it I, it kind of got me thinking like, do you know what, maybe I should just do it. Like, it's something I've always wanted to do. So I then just slowly began to message my other friends. And I was like, do you know what, I'm thinking of starting a YouTube, but I'm nervous. And they just said to me, the people who are going to hate on you are either jealous or they've got nothing better to do with their life. Now, a lot of people say that, and it took me a while to actually believe that, because... I always say, oh yeah, they're just jealous. They, they just can't handle the fact that you're being successful. But this lockdown kind of helped me realise um, all these people that are hating on you, they don't, like, who cares? They're not affecting, like, they're not going to actually affect your life unless you let it. And what am I doing to affect them? I'm just being happy. So if anyone's going to get more hurt in the situation, it's going to be the people that are being nasty about it. So... If you want to start YouTube, to do it. Last question is, have you ever questioned your sexuality? Questioning my sexuality. It's, it's like a difficult topic because I don't think I've ever questioned it necessarily. I think I've just been a little confused thinking like, um, because I've never had a relationship. Um, when I was like a little younger, and kind of like being gay and things was kind of coming to light in, to me, I was kind of thinking like, how do you know if you're actually attracted to a guy or a girl or, you know, because we're just taught that females like males and males like females. Like that's what we're taught. That's how we are grown to think. Um, so I think at one point I was just like, am I attracted to a male or is that what I've just been taught to be attracted to? But no, I am I'm, I am straight. Um, it was just like a little thought process in my mind. Um, but I don't think I've questioned my sexuality. I was just thinking like, I should, I just, it's kind of hard to explain what I mean. I just hope you kind of understand. So that was all of the questions for my q and um, I'm hoping to film um another video this weekend so i'm not too sure when i'm going to be uploading this it could be like in a month later because i've just got to figure out what i'm doing um and how often i can get these videos out um but i hope you enjoyed it i will link my instagram and my tiktok down below <laughs> but this is my first video i actually did it wow anyway Hopefully I'll see you in my next video and hopefully you'll subscribe and like. That would be brilliant. Thank you. Goodbye.